it's going to be like a minute. Well, Coach, you guys come back. It was 7-0 in the first. Okay. You end up uh, getting the win. Obviously, um, a thriller. Ninth time the charm. Just your thoughts? Uh, you know, it was, uh, it was huge, man. We, uh, we got down 7-0. I just kept telling the guys, chip away. Get one or two an inning, and we'll see what happens. And we didn't score for quite a while. And then around the 7th, 8th, ninth, we were able to put up some pretty good runs there and got some pretty good at-bats. And, you know, a little bit of luck is always a good thing. And we had a couple drop pop-ups. And, uh, you know, luck is always, on our, is, is always a, a good thing to have on your side. And tonight we had it. What does it say about the resiliency of your bunch? I mean, I mean, to get down seven against a team that had handed you guys some big losses, you know, throughout the season to not quit and find a way. You know, that's one of the reasons why I brought all these guys here. You know, I, I've known them in high school. I've known their, their all their background, and they're all winners and they're fighters, and they're going to continue to fight whether they're down or up, whatever. They're they're not going to quit, and the just the relentlessness of those guys are just is just unbelievable. And it was so fun to watch, and it was fun to see them pull it off. Was there a point where it really hit like, hey, you know, we're going to do this? Yeah, you know, I think I think it was Sam's hit up the middle. You know, that, that was a big hit up the middle. Whenever we were able to, to get that hit, you know, we ended up tying it right there. And I was like, man, we're going to pull this off. And then, you know, we still had to get one more run across. And Jackson put a great swing on a ball and hit a laser right to left field. And we were able to get the sack fly. And that was end up, end up being the difference. And uh, another thing that was super huge was Brady Loving coming out and just absolutely shutting the door. You know, he was throwing as hard as I've seen him throw all summer. And his stuff was working. He was super confident, and that kid's going to be hes going to be really good. He's 19 years old, and he's really going to be good. Backs against the wall two nights in a row, come out on top. Uh, I'm sure you guys got to gotta like the way you guys are playing heading into, obviously, another big series coming up. Absolutely. You know, um, that's that's one thing that these guys got to remember, that no matter if we get down or whatever the – Whatever the circumstances may be, you know that we, we can pull anything off, and you know we were able to show that tonight, and gives the guys even more confidence going into this next three-game series with Sedalia. What's it going to take? That's another team's been playing well lately. They're they're, they're great, man. I mean, I, I get along with their coach really well. We we talk pretty often, you know, about the players he has, and he's got a shortstop that can really swing it, and uh, he's got he's got some good arms, and it's going to be a fun series. You know, we're looking forward to starting it tomorrow. You know, going down to Sedalia. Yeah, I'm, thanks, Alex. I'm super excited. Well, Ryan, I know this is probably the hardest part of any season uh, and obviously a heartbreaker. And maybe there's not words uh, for a loss like this, but just your thoughts on tonight. Well, like just telling the guys just a minute ago, what they did this summer is unbelievable. But you know how hard it is to beat a team nine times in a row. It was their night. They kept battling, and we just didn't get our tack on runs. We didn't play our best baseball at the end of the game and came back and bit us in the butt. Seven of the first, uh, you know, and Isaiah went deep too. I'm sure you guys had to be feeling really good after one. Yeah, you always feel real good, but at the same time, been around the game way too long to see seven run leads disappear in tournament play. It's just a different cat, and uh, you know, you gotta you gotta win every inning when it comes to tournament play, and we didn't do that tonight. We let it slip away through us, uncharacteristic errors we've had, and uh, you know, our pitching didn't come through tonight. You know, we just didn't fill the zone up like we had been. Was there a point tonight where you felt maybe you guys, I mean, got a little tight, the momentum shifted, uh, and obviously they're able to come back? You know, not really, because this group has always bounced back every night. Every night they come back, someone puts up runs, we've always answered. Tonight just didn't happen. As you've seen, we left stranded a lot of guys on base. Uh, what? A lot. A lot. You know, we left a small village on, and you're not going to win games no matter how much you're up when you're not getting outs. I know it hurts now, but I mean, you look at this team, 37 and six, uh, won a lot of games, pretty convincingly as well. Uh, when you look back, well, what's going to be the things you remember about this squad? Just the way they bonded together and pulled for one another, and never quit. These guys were here every night, played hard. That's all you can ask for from a bunch of guys that come from different parts of the country. So, very proud of this group. It didn't end the way we wanted to, but you know, there's only one winner at the end, so someone's got to lose. Sarah, hope that you know a season like this can kind of do good things for you guys going forward as well. Yeah, you hope this catapults it into next year, but we're going to have a bunch of new guys in again. You hope they bond as quickly as these guys have done, and uh, you know you hope to make another run.